Libra, welcome back to the channel, guys. So let's go ahead and get you some April 2022 predictions and love. We're going to see what is coming towards you guys. What can you expect this April and what is the outcome? So let's see here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my Libras clear and concise messages. What is coming towards Libra this April 2022 in love? So I got recognition. First card that flew out is recognition, and I got metamorphosis. Bottom of the deck, observe. So is this, this a situation with somebody who... Free will and forgiveness. So I feel that there is, this is an energy with somebody who... You have some type of relationship with this person. I don't think that it is a romantic situation. At least not yet. Okay, but I feel that this friendship, because there's flirt here and heart to heart conversations. So I feel that this is someone in your life who you get along with very well, who you consider to be a very close friend of yours. And there is a, some type of recognition and metamorphosis in this situation. I feel that slowly but surely, what you consider to be just a relationship is going to start converting into a love situation here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy here for my Libras? What are the messages for Libra, please? Getting to know each other. So, guys, this is definitely a situation where this is someone who you consider to be a good friend. Who got this? Aries. Aries got this. So, look at And bottom of the deck, I have flirt. Okay, so this is someone who you consider to be a very good friend who, truth be told, when you first met this person, you didn't have that type of attraction with this individual. Like you didn't see them as a partner per se in, in the love sector. You've seen them as a very good friend. And I feel that as time has been moving forward, you're starting to come to terms and realization that there is something much more in this connection. And I feel that that energy is mutual because there's definitely something changing here. Some, this person has been ob observing you. They've been keeping an eye on you. I feel that this person as well, the way that they look at you now, it's different. It's not like, you know, you guys are only friends. It's more like... You can tell that this person is starting to get some interest here because with flirt, it's it's a person that's opening up. There may be some religious factors between you and this individual and you're being asked to keep an open mind to this situation because this, truth be told, is true love that's going to lead into a wedding, okay? So you may be dealing, dealing or... or you may be dealing with or you have a friend who ultimately is not part of your same religion, okay? Um, and again, you never expected for the situation to convert into a love relationship. But it is slowly but surely changing. I feel that this person has opened up a little bit with flirtation. Um, they've been telling you things now. They've been giving you a lot of compliments. And you've been like, whoa, where, like, where is this coming from? And I feel is that this person has always had their eye on you. But now, more than ever in April, it's where this person is going to start recognizing this relationship more and more. And there's going to be a big change here. And I feel that this is mutual. I feel that you as well have been catching feelings for your friend. So this is an energy of getting to know each other, but in a much more deeper energy, okay? You know, you have certain conversation with your friends. You know, some of us tell our friends everything. Some of us don't, you know what I mean? But I feel that in this situation, it's, it's just a change. It's a total, it went from being a friend, a best friend possibly, to potentially being a lover and possibly even being a spouse in the very near future. So a lot of changes are happening in this connection. Let's see here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Please help me give my Libras clear and concise messages here. So Libra, you're dealing with the King of Pentacles. You may ultimately be dealing with an Earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, or Capricorn. But there is an energy of this person being very independent, very stable, possibly even wealthy. 
Queen of Swords energy here. I feel that this person more and more as you guys continue talking as friends, you're starting to see the changes in the relationship because he or she is becoming more and more transparent, more and more truthful, more and more straightforward, and their flirtation has converted into uh damn, what's going on type of energy here. With the Eight of Wands here, there has been more and more communication with you and this person. So you guys may have went from texting and talking to each other maybe every two to three days to it being a daily thing now you start off your morning texting this person you end off your evening texting this person this is ultimately someone who you can potentially see yourself in a very grounded stable relationship again it's taken some time for you guys to realize this but I feel that in this month, in April, you're going to see those changes become more and more transparent where it's going to lead you into a more committed, more stable situation with this person. You're going to be very caught off guard as well because it's like you did not expect to be, expect to be developing feelings for this individual. So it's going to be like an aha moment out of nowhere. Okay. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what are the overall energies here with my Libra and this person, please? Overall energies. Five of Pentacles, okay? So again, I feel that some of you guys may be holding on to this fear of losing a friend if you try to pursue the connection in, in, a, love, in, in, a, in a, a love energy, but I don't see that happening. On the contrary, I feel that if you make the decision here to accept this person's offer and to potentially get to know each other on a different level other than friends, there is a lot of positive forward movement in this connection. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like it was always destined for this friendship to convert into a love relationship, okay? Um, as you all know, I'm a very strong believer of... In order for you to find your true person or your soulmate, you got to be friends first, okay? A lot of these relationships that go from being, you know, you get to know somebody to jumping into the sack together and then becoming a relationship, sometimes, unfortunately, don't ever work out because we didn't take the time to meet this person. I feel that you have an opportunity here with someone who you've known for quite a bit, who you know very profoundly. But I feel that in this month, in April, there's going to be an opportunity for you to get to know this person in a whole different other energy. It's like you falling in love with your best friends is what's going on here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is the outcome in this situation of the world? So again, completion to loneliness, completion to doubt. Um, I also heard this person is your end-all, be-all. There's something about this individual that you find very hard to let go of. You may be dealing with the fire sign here, a queen of wands, but there is a very passionate, persistent energy between you and this individual. I also am getting here that you're dealing with somebody who could be very attractive or finds you to be very attractive, but there is an opportunity for you and this person to actually move forward in a different direction here. What is the possible outcome in this situation? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. The outcome in this situation, guys, is here. Hangman energy. Seeing a, pers a different perspective in this situation. Looking at the relationship with the potential of possibly being in love with this person. It's allowing you the opportunity to achieve stability and, and um, forward movement with this person. I feel that you're dealing with somebody who you could have very well met at work. Someone who is a very financial abundant individual. I feel that ultimately at the end of the day, you can find the peace and harmony and balance that you require in this connection and you can definitely find your happily ever after. So if you guys are a little bit afraid of taking this leap of faith, I feel that in April you are being guided to take the leap of faith because this friend, this best friend can potentially turn out to be your future husband or wife. Okay. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Guys, don't forget to check out my community tab. In the weekends, I, I host specials for readings. So don't forget to look out for those. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.